My name is Eduard Walker from Pointing Antennas. I'm talking about Fiber Point and how it changes people's lives to connect them to the internet. This is an area where the ISP is Wilink. They used uh, LaRumo to build the network for them. Um, there's DFA that supplies the fiber backhaul from that manhole into the area. Uh, Wilink then gets their upstream internet from Aerocom. Uh, Wilink then has, owns four JCAPs in this area. JCAPs is Jonas Consumer Access Points, which FiberPoint supplies to them. That then covers this whole green area uh, with internet access so that people can have fast, reliable internet that's not affected by load shedding, autonomous power. And uh, let's show you how it works. So this is the, where the FiberPoint system starts in this area, in Foscuri, uh, where Wilink uh, is the ISP and the network owner arranged a DFA link from the outside. The DFA fiber goes through that bosal pipe into this building. Um, they're using the uh, ISP, upstream ISP called Aerocom to supply the internet. Uh, if you look inside, the um, the, the fiber terminates inside a, a ONT, optical network terminator, and then there's a router here to manage the accounting. The router then sends the internet up to the point-to-point -point link that joins all the JCAPs up. And then there's also a, a Blue Nova battery and a solar panel. Uh, that makes the site completely autonomous and it's not affected by um, load shedding at all and it also doesn't require any AC power input. So it can run by itself. So it's fiber into the fiber point system. And this is the mini JCAP area where the fiber gets to the first node, which makes a point to point link to all the other JCAPs. This is basically where it starts. Uh, there's not a distribution part here, a fiber point distribution here. This is just to supply the internet to all the fiber points that covers the whole area. So, so this is typically how an autonomous solar JCAP would look, uh, where the solar panel is on top of the, roof, top of the pole, um, not easy to get to it. And then the JCAP is mounted there, radiating in two directions. One direction is down the street, other direction is backwards to the houses behind it and then the back wall all the way to where the internet comes from and all the IT router equipment inside that box. The pole is nice and thick and strong so it doesn't move anything uh, in the wind even with the big wind load from the solar panel it's still very rigid and uh, this site can then operate autonomously without any power it's not affected by load shedding at all, it doesn't use any AC power from the house. And uh, that is how FiberPoint can provide internet, fiber-like internet, fiber performance internet at low cost to areas where there's not any other means of internet or not other economically feasible methods of delivering internet. At, uh, at each JCAP, there's a, a power unit, which consists of a Blue Nova battery and then a solar panel on the roof. This makes the JCAP completely autonomous. So even though there's load shedding at the moment, people still have internet connectivity uh, on a wireless link. So this is really the only way how you can get wireless internet um, completely independent from load shedding to clients. So, so in this area, even though there's fiber passing along Lenshin, um, there is no fiber available in this area. Uh, and it seems that it won't be available in the near future. So we were approached by some residents yet to see whether we could offer uh, some form of an internet solution. Um, I've, I know pointing uh, from way back, I, I knew about their uh, product called FiberPoint. I have a lot of respect for the pointing products, so I approached the uh, pointing to see whether they could assist us to put up a Wi-Fi network in this area. 
and they've been brilliant in terms of helping us with the radio design, helping us to get the backhaul and the J-caps going, helping us to put everything on a, on a network management system. And we have currently uh, 21 clients signed up with three more to that will be done in the next week or two. And then we're aiming to have about 100 houses signed up here when, uh, when we're done. Yeah, so we, uh, there's, a, there's a community forum going here and we receive some of the WhatsApps going on the community forum. And we have very happy customers here. They're saying that since they moved away from either ADSL uh, onto our network, or in some cases they were on a WISP before, and they're saying it's uh, it's a it's a whole different experience. So very happy customers.